Hi, Randy here again today. I was just thinking about childhood abuse and working with children who have undergone um, narcissistic abuse and abandonment through their parent or caretakers and how when these children get to be adolescents they still try to move toward getting that parent to love them or be different or pleasing the parent. They change themselves. They try to alter, do anything they can to win the parental love and affection, which they're ne never able to do with the narcissistic parent. And they become more and more frustrated, more and more self blaming and self-destructive usually uh, unhealthy as an adolescent so then I'm thinking about adult narcissists so likely the narcissist was traumatized in many different ways maybe early on as a, a, a an infant through childhood um, in various ways then kind of became the maybe golden child maybe scapegoat but no matter they developed into having all the defenses against what they did not receive from their caregivers and they you know developed the personality disorder of narcissism and one sign that reminds me of narcissists and adolescents. Well, there are several, but one way that you can tell that the person who has obviously through knowing they're a narcissist has been traumatized by their parent but yet they will not admit it or recognize it in any way they continue to still move toward their parent they never go no contact they don't acknowledge the abuse they're basically stuck in that adolescent self-destructive stage and never grow out of it so they don't see what's good for them they don't develop that self soothing they don't accept the fact that there was anything wrong or bad with the way that they were treated they might have an inkling of it but it's just on the surface it doesn't appear to be anything more serious than just the normal maybe complaining about an adult complaining about their parent kind of casually they don't understand the impact that their parent has had and therefore they continue to um, have relationships with their narcissistic parents and then um, those narcissistic traits feed off of one another both on the parent side and on the narcissist adult child's side so a more you know a much more healthy development is that that adolescent child finally grows up and the earlier the better really recognizes what happened to them and starts to accept it and come to terms with it and change their own behavior, change their own contact, change their responses to the narcissistic parent. And that symbolizes the growth of the individual who has been traumatized as a child. More likely the scapegoats may end up coming to this realization because it's more clear to them less likely do the golden children realize this because it's the abuse they suffered is either pre-verbal and or it's much less clear to them 
They don't recognize that how they were treated, especially if they were put on a pedestal and just pitted against their siblings, that this was actually abusive. So they don't recognize the fact that in order to get healthy, they should introspect and go low to no contact with that narcissist parent. Instead, they do the opposite again. And this is how the narcissistic attitude kind of prevails and the delusion. It's where the delusion begins and it's where the delusion continues. More and more delusional, delusional ideas pile on to the fact of that base delusion that they've created that there was nothing wrong with the way that they were brought up. Something to think about. Thanks for listening.